In this video we're going to look at the averages that we can calculate for statistical data. An average is an attempt to describe where the middle of a set of statistical data is or equivalently to describe what a typical member of the data is. An average is frequently called a measure of central tendency and at GCSE you'll certainly have met three commonly used averages namely the mode, the median and the mean. The mode is the observation that occurs most often. The median is the middle observation when the data is arranged in size order. If there are n observations where n is an odd number then there is a unique middle observation and to find that we, f we take a half of n plus 1 and that will give us the middle observation and that middle observation is the median. If on the other hand there are an even number of observations then there isn't a unique middle observation we have to take the two observations in the middle and find the average of those two observations. And those two observations are the half nth and the half nth plus oneth observations. And as we said the median is the average of those two observations. The mean of a set of values is often denoted by x bar where x bar is equal to the total value of all of the observations divided by the number of observations. So it's a very simple example. Find the mode, median and mean of the observations 2727582. Well, we've got seven observations there. It's a good idea with such a small number just to list them in size order. So we've got 2225778, in which case we can see straight away that 2 is the most common observation. So the mode is 2. The middle observation of 7 is the fourth observation when they are listed in order. And the fourth observation when they're listed in order is 5. So the median is 5. And the mean is the total of all of the observations divided by the number of observations. So to find the total of all the observations we've got 2 times 3 plus 5 plus 7 times 2 plus 8 which is 33 and we need to divide that by 7 which gives us a mean of 4.71. In a very similar way if we want to find the mode, median and mean of the observations 272.75827, write them out in order. We'll notice that there isn't a mode because there isn't a single observation with the highest frequency. So there is no unique mode. In this case we've got eight observations. So the median will be the average of the fourth observation and the fifth observation. So the median is the average of 5 and 7, which in this gives us 6. And the mean we can calculate as before. We've got 3 times 2 plus 5 plus 3 times 7 plus 8, which gives me 40 divided by 8 which gives me a mean of 5. For our next example, we're referring back to an, exa um, an example that we met in earlier videos where we've got the RAM, that's the random access memory of each of 100 laptops as shown in the diagram. We've got to calculate the mode, median and mode of this data. But the diagram can be usefully summarized in a table and it is very clear that the mode is 8 RAM because that's the most common. We've got a hundred laptops there. A half of a hundred 
is 50, but with an even number like 100, where there isn't a unique middle one, we need to consider the 50th and the 51st laptops when they're arranged in order. From the table, we can see that 34 laptops had RAMs of 4 gigabytes or less, and 70 laptops had RAMs of 8 gigabyte or less. And because there are no laptops with RAMs between 4 and 8, we can conclude that the 50th and 51st laptops both had RAMs of 8 gigabytes. So the median size of the um, RAM is 8 plus 8 over 2. So we've got a medium RAM, median RAM of 8 gigabytes. The mean calculation we can do as 2 times 8 plus 4 times 26 plus 8 times 36 plus 16 times 21 plus 32 times 9 and divide all that lot by 100 which gives me 1032 divided by 100 so we have a mean RAM of 10.32 gigabytes. Now the process of calculating the mean can be summarized in a simple formula. So we've got at find x bar, what we needed to do was we needed to multiply each of the observation values x by the frequency for that particular value. We then needed to add up all of the results. And in mathematics, we often use the symbol sigma, that's a capital letter S, or a capital Greek letter S, to signify the process of adding up or summing the values. So we've got to add up all of the XS, F values, and then we need to divide by the total number of observations, which is often denoted by N, and sometimes N is written as the sum of all the frequencies. So we've got a formula for X bar being the sum of the XFs divided by N, or the sum of the XFs divided by sigma F. Now it's very useful if we can use our calculator to work out means quickly and efficiently. And we're going to see now the little process which will use the Casio FX991EX or the ClassWiz calculator to do precisely that. So we need to go menu 6 and then 1 to select one variable statistics. We then go shift setup and then down on the joypad select the statistics and put frequency on. So we can now start entering the data. So we are enter the x values first. Once we've entered the x values in, we slide across to the other column, go up to the top, and we can now edit the frequencies. So we can enter 8, then 26. And then once we've got all of the data into the table, We go option and choose number three to get the one variable statistics calculations. And there are three screens of these calculations available and they're accessed by using the joypad at the top of the calculator. Let 
and we can go at, go back to get the ones there. Okay, so here are the three screens that we got off the calculator, and the very top entry is the value of the mean for the data, which was a 10.32 that we had before. The en entry underneath gives us the value of the sum of the x values times frequencies. On the second screen, we had the total number of observations that we had, which was 100. And we also, in this case, get the median of 8. The histogram now shows the price of the laptops considered in the previous example. And what we want to do at this stage is we want to estimate the mean price of these laptops. Well, in the previous video, we remembered the fact that in a histogram, the area of each bar gives us the frequency for that group. So, the area of the first group is 400 times by 0.02, which gives me a frequency of 8. And then we can go down and get all of the other frequencies in exactly that way. So we've now got our frequency distribution. To gain an estimate of the mean, we use the midmark of each group as a reasonable representation of the price of all of the computer of each of the computers in that particular group. So the first group went from £300 up to £700, so has got a mid-mark of £500. And similarly, the next group's got a mid-mark of £800, 1000 and so on, all the way down the table. We then find the mean by using our calculator, using the mid-marks as our typical X values going down and I would suggest you check this calculation now on the calculator using exactly the same method as we did a slide or two ago and we obtain a mean value of £1,206.50. The median can be estimated from this cumulative frequency graph and all we do is we take half of the total number of observations, which in this case is a half of 100, which is 50. We draw a line, horizontal line, from 50 on the cumulative frequency axis until we meet the graph, go straight down, and that will give me my estimate of the median, which is somewhere around about £1,125. It is, note, it is worth noticing that the calculator will have given a misleading value for the median because what it does is assume that all of the um, values in a particular group are at the midmark of that particular group rather than being spread out through the group. The calculator values for the median and the quartiles are only reliable for data where different valued observations have not been grouped together. And we'll come across this again when we come on to measures of spread in the next two videos.